Hello there, my lovely Virgos. How are you guys doing? Welcome back to my channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, please do smash that subscribe and like button. We would love to have you. Um, personal reading link is below this video in the description box. We're coming up to the end of February here. So the special for the personal readings will be ending soon. All right, you guys, let's not spend all this time on announcements, okay? You know the drill. Join the Oversoul Forum community. Link is in the description box below as well. All right, Virgo, let's see what the drama. <laughs> now, I feel like your last reading, um, you had this card, Kisses. So I'm not sure, I can't remember. I do so many readings, so I'm not 100% sure, but there you go. Somebody wants to kiss you, Virgo. Somebody's blowing kisses. Somebody's thinking of you and thinking of kissing you. This is falling in love. Okay, let's see what else is going on here, Virgo. Oh my goodness, the drama. <gasps> Get out of here, come on, twin flames. You know, if we're not getting a narcissist card, you're getting the twin flame card, Virgo. I mean, it's just the way it goes. Here you go. Point blank period. Twin flame right there, straight from the horse's mouth. Yin yang, zen, balance, union, duality, coupling, um, complementing each other. Yeah, look at that. Definitely a yin yang energy. Look at the picture in the center. The yin to my yang. Okay, let's take a look. What else is going on here? I feel like this is going to turn into a twin flame reading. Paradise. Holy shit. Holy shit. All right, this is looking good, Virgo. This is looking good. Are you going to meet your twin flame? Have you already met your twin flame? Are you already in communication with your twin flame? I know you can't see these that well. I'll try to brighten it up before I upload it, but... Okay, bottom of the deck here, two of cups. So there's a new love happening here. Some of you may be meeting your twin flame for the first time. Uh, for others, you're already connecting with this person. Maybe you've connected with this person in the past and there was a separation of some sort. Uh, some of you could be in a twin flame separation right now, but the two of cups energy, this is like meeting of the minds. This is the two of cups for me is the twins in a, I want to say introductory period. Okay, so what do I mean by that, right? So when we look at the lover's card, the lover's is Gemini, Gemini is of the twins. That is like the love relationship that has evolved, okay? The two of cups is kind of like getting on the same page with each other, all right? So maybe you were in, uh, twin flame connection um, where you guys met but there wasn't that you you guys weren't on the same page you didn't have I have to slow my breathing down it's like you weren't in it was there was a lack of mutuality okay it's like you guys there might have been I feel like some repelling Okay, maybe there was some separation or maybe there was disinterest or maybe some arguments, but now it feels like whether it's somebody new or, you know, someone you're currently talking to or this is like a recommitment to connecting with each other. All right, so we're going to put that right there. We're going to keep that right there. All right, let's take a look. Let's get into this reading and see what's going on here, Virgo. You know, let me put a little more, I mean, I know I'm glowing here, but let me get a little more light. Hopefully that helps. Wait, give me a sec. Little better, a little more light, a little better. Okay, all right, let's move on here. What's going on, Virgo? So I'm picking up Leo energy. We have water energy. Okay. 
So we got the death card. There you go. There's some type of transformation that's happening here in a connection. Something is changing big time. The end of a past cycle, the beginning of a new cycle is coming forward. Let's see. All right. There's peace. Wow. No more restlessness. There's peace. Withdraw. Somebody's getting a good night's rest. Somebody's starting to dream again. <clears throat> maybe you were, maybe you weren't, you weren't dreaming. You were having trouble dreaming or you, you were waking up, not remembering your dreams or just waking up and trying to remember what you dreamt. And uh, somebody, maybe somebody here is finally, because there might've been a lot of restlessness or trouble sleeping in the past. If you were in some type of separation with someone. Um, and so I feel like there's like good rest coming finally to get some sleep. But you know, oh my goodness, Knight of Wands. It's also, they're just telling me somebody is dreaming about connecting with you um, in a very passionate way, coming towards you. Let me see here. Okay. Oh, wow, Virgo. Somebody's been really weighing things out. Um, you might have been connecting with someone that was doing a hell of a lot of juggling between you and another person. Um, somebody's getting stable here. There's an energy. Like, I feel like somebody went through some kind of transformation and change. Really, like, put an end to some type of past cycle or something maybe that you and this person had been through or if this is somebody new for some of you this person's coming in like they've finished a past cycle that they were in it's over it's done okay and I feel like there's an energy here of you know, weighing things out, you know, what do they want to do? Where they want to go? Which direction do they want to keep dating? Do they want partnership and coming to terms with, you know, somebody's at rest is what I feel like. Um, somebody's at rest. They put something to rest. Let's see. I feel like I'm blowing through this. Wow. All right. There's definitely like an assertive kind of energy coming through here. Um, somebody's got something to say. They've been thinking forward thoughts, like thinking about the future, thinking about how maybe things could be going forward, really putting some energy into thinking about something here because, you know, the sort of energy is all about the thoughts, not necessarily the communication, more so about the thoughts. It's like this person, they hold that one sword in their hand which is the ace of swords this is like new plans new ideas and you know pushing it forward so i kind of get a sense that you know you're going to get some communication about somebody's new plans here they've been thinking about something since something has died okay if a relationship has ended somebody has taken some time out and are actually thinking about what they want Okay, if you ended something with somebody, um, this person is now left with nothing but their thoughts. And I'm not seeing any heartbreak here. There's peace. It's almost as if something had to end in order for someone to collect their thoughts and figure out what they wanted, what they really want with you. Okay, Ten of Pentacles. Yep, there you go, heartbreak. I said I wasn't seeing it, but it's here, okay? There's definitely some type of separation and loss and healing from that. And I, I just kind of get the sense that there's somebody here who's healed <clears throat> from something that ended, but they're coming back, okay? Or they're, um, so when I say coming back, are they coming back to you? It could be. And for others, it's like coming back stronger than they ever were. It's just somebody new here, really finally deciding what they want. You know, you could have been dealing, you could meet, I don't want to say you could be dealing, you could meet somebody that was um, 
kind of, I guess, in a lot of ways, unstable, or they had an inability to commit, or they struggled with commitment. And now, <clears throat> since something has ended in their life, um, something was put to rest, now this person is finally at peace, and now they can make a decision. It's like they're having some kind of thing. A cycle has transfer transitioned out of their life. They might have been in a bad relationship with somebody, and they put an end to that and they're ready to move forward here with you okay we have king of cups i feel like king of cups shows up in your reading all the time so this is our first court card so cancer scorpio pisces doesn't your person you know this could be somebody new it doesn't have to be your past person but the king of cups comes through as someone who is more vibrational than than a communicator this person communicates through emotion okay but there's not a lot that comes from the king of cups the king of cups when the king of cups speaks or talks um i feel the king of cups is very selective about what he chooses to share when it comes to the emotions, right? King Hup Cups can talk about pretty much anything when he wants to, but the King of Cups is showing up as someone who's very selective though with their emotions, with, with, with what they w wish to share um, and what they wish to say. So it's not that they're not a good communicator, it's just that they have very choice, select words, when, and they speak from the heart, okay? Um, so let's take a look here. All right. Um, seven of Wands. You know, this Seven of Wands kind of makes me feel like this person has taken a stand here after a heartbreak. There might have been left a family situation ended something with there might have been a heavy influence by family and this person has i just i i feel like not necessarily cut off the family it could be but it feels more along the lines of like had to break a family member's heart or had to break off the influence of family and stand up for what they believe Okay, I don't know who that's going to resonate for, but stand up for what they believe. Uh, something happened. Oh, the light went out. Something happened to this person. I feel like when you, so if this is somebody you met or somebody you're going to meet, there is some kind of like magical kismet thing that happens between the two of you or has happened where it's like you each knew that you each knew or you each know that you that there's something here between the two of you there's familiarity there's similarity between the two of you okay and i feel like um somebody here uh it, it happened with the first kiss or it happens with the first kiss okay there's something about a kiss and somebody just wants to kiss you again or once you know even if they kiss you for the first time you know going into the month of march it's like they just want to keep kissing you there's something that the kiss is so magical that's what i feel it's like it's something about it i don't know what the hell it felt like paradise for this person maybe it was a playful kiss or it's just the way two people kiss that it's very like it's enjoyable it's like one of those things where you don't have to do anything else just kiss and the kiss just feels makes somebody happy or makes two people happy the way the kiss went or goes <laughs> so it kind of feels like there was some kind of influence this person might have been left uh maybe they left a marriage are they divorced? Okay. Are they divorced a family situation? Or this person might have been stuck in a family situation where it's like they had to f 
follow traditional roles but they really didn't love somebody or maybe their person left them it could also be that but i feel like somebody here feels very lost and kind of like stuck out in the cold here um a sense of like they're really worried picking up a lot of worry worry that they've so if this is someone you knew from the past this person if you cut them off or left them out in the cold they're really worried that they're never going to get to kiss you again or you guys aren't going to be able to be together but it feels to me like whoever you were connecting with this person was very standoffish if this was a past person standoffish and as far as this being somebody new i feel like their energy is that they're lonely they feel isolated and when they meet you it's like boom they they don't want they realize that that's not good enough for them to stay on their own or for them to feel lonely um, or to feel they don't want to struggle okay so this definitely feels like a twin flame connection some of you are in separation and just really hoping for something to be different and others that last person was not a, a twin flame that was more of a karmic and you've got somebody new showing up here in the month of march it could be a pisces for some you'll recognize this person by their hesitancy you know they vibrate more the emotions but they have a hesitancy i'm just picking up a very like a strong hesitancy but let, let me dive a little deeper here i want to see okay so we have the lovers right when i was saying let me dive a little deeper i wanted to take a look at the death card so the lovers is here okay which definitely tells me that there was an end to a marriage or a partnership or a relationship and something ended okay eight of wands in the reverse there was no communication there was no more forward movement um, something just basically miss somebody missed the mark or something ended okay a lot of frustrations or delays uh, could have been some travel problems you know being able to move forward Gemini energy there um, the death card represents Scorpio energy let me see what's going on here somebody okay look again the knight of swords assertiveness in thinking a lifestyle change so lifestyle change happened to somebody here something ended for them okay whether you ended something or another person ended something or they ended something um but there's an energy of like now making a new choice now changing things once again let's take a look here at this two of cups not sorry not the two of cups the king of cups yep sadness grief a very sad lonely little fishy or a very sad lonely little water sign why why is this person sad what is this grief this loss okay temperance there you go seven of wands again pushing back on some type of family um or marriage of some sort a lot of defense a lot of this person may have been in a relationship or some type of connection with someone before and it was they were very defensive or there was a defensive energy uh, a lot of fighting i feel hmm um somebody was trying to protect themselves i feel like it's this king of cups was trying to protect them protect themselves um but temperance here balancing out the emotions uh somebody here has a fear or a, a is grieving a loss maybe of you if you ended something with them 
because they were maybe stuck in something else and it couldn't move forward okay either it was another relationship or it was a work thing um or a business contract or another person you know um person place or thing or a family is what i'm feeling so he's Sagittarius, I did say, okay, so somebody here wants a reconciliation. That's what I was feeling like, okay? Um, now, for those of you who's a past person, it's like, start. can we start all over again? This is what I'm hearing, starting all over again. Um, but I also feel like, for those of you who is somebody new, this person is going through a healing process as well when you meet them they also have children okay they also have children now how is this person going to get in touch with virgo if you've got a past person here that you've blocked and you can't think of any way that they can get through um i want to ask how they're going to get to you huh they gave me the knight of cups Oh, they're going to find a way to you. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let me see. This person's going to get on their horse and ride on over and ring your doorbell. <laughs> um, they're going to send a courier, they just said. Um, you might have somebody blocked energetically, like... Maybe you blocked them on social media. You blocked their number. You blocked, like in other words, if there were no computers or phones or anything electric, you couldn't really block them. The only other way I can think is if you moved and this person has no way of finding out where you live, but there is a way they will find out and, and have someone deliver something to you, maybe a bottle of wine or a gift. Um, with a note attached or some it's interesting I'm just hearing um, if you look look at the helmet I'm sorry it's really shiny you might not be able to see it but the helmet that this knight of cups is wearing um, they're giving me an image of I'm like isn't that an emblem for like um, a flower delivery service or something? I'm just feeling like a courier, a delivery service. They're going to deliver something to you. Maybe you've blocked their email or there's something that can't go through, come through or you've changed whatever it is. And this is only a specific message for somebody, for some of you here. Okay. Um, so why this defense? Well, first of all, let's look and see what's this heartbreak about this Divorce, separation, loss, breakup. Um, what's this about here? Oh, yeah, a lot of conflict. Something had to end. There was too much conflict between two people. Something came to an end. Something had to end here. Uh, could not move forward. Could not reach paradise. Too much fight. Too much competition. Um, just... Uh, Just too much. Um, somebody had to protect themselves. Is how I feel. A lot of rivalry. Okay. Too many obstacles. Something had to end. Somebody broke up with somebody and ended it. Because it was just a, something that just wasn't moving forward. Now why this. That's why I was asking why this competition. Why this protection here. Okay, part of the protection was going into hiding. Somebody went into hiding and they didn't want another person to know where they were. Okay, that was a self-defense. Somebody was trying to protect themselves, protect their privacy. Okay, protect their privacy here. What's the Five of Pentacles here for? This left out in the cold, this abandoned poverty mindset. Huh, that's interesting. Five of Swords in the reverse, which is strange because I don't have any reversals in here, um, but we're going to take it. So 
even though somebody is in a position of feeling left out in the cold or um, I almost I'm or just isolated or I'm tempted to just say worried or feeling lost even though they're in that position it I'm just hearing somebody saying that's fine I'll take it, it it's peaceful I may not be able to eat and I may be living on the in a box on the side of the street but it's fucking peaceful and I don't have anybody fighting with me <laughs> I'm fine with it. I'm living in my car. Doesn't uh, no, you, I got the key. Nobody can get in. It's quiet. No more fighting. No more abuse. That's the energy I'm picking up here. <clears throat> whoever cut somebody off or whoever ended something, even though it's a struggle, it's peaceful as F. I can I can do struggle by myself. I'll find a way to eat. I'll find a way to work to live somewhere. Whatever it is, I may be lost and missing love in my life but it's peaceful as hell and i don't have to fight with anybody anymore and i'll take that over fighting and abuse any day okay um i want to look at the two of cups here this love start this meaning of the minds this new beginning this new love here this coming together wow wheel of fortune so things are changing i feel like this had a lot to do with the timing thing this has a lot to do with a timing thing. Show me, show me the Knight of Wands, this lusty, fiery, passionate spirit. What's going on here? Wow. Okay. The tower. You know what that means, you guys. <laughs> we're, in, we're either breaking ground or we're breaking through. <clears throat> Somebody's got a really like, it's orgasmic the way they think of you. I'm not going to lie here. I'm not going to lie. We have Pisces. We have Cancer energy here. We have Leo, Taurus, Aquarius, Scorpio, um, Gemini. Um, yeah, you know, I, I just feel like somebody's coming back in here because... They don't want something to be over or, or they're just making bold moves in their life showing up here they don't want to go through any more heartbreak the last thing i don't i feel like someone is not defeated though you know even though there may be some kind of struggle even though they may not be where something that they had in the past or whether it was with you or another person didn't work out it's like they're not defeated they're not going to quit i feel like they're just going to keep pushing forward they're not going to give up on love that whoever this person is is not saying that's it i've had enough i'm never going to date again and i'm just going to you know just be me and my cat or me and my dog nope this person is saying oh i'm getting right back up on that horse and getting right back out there okay and going after my love i'm coming after my love Wow. So we have Libra and energy, justice here, fair fight. This person, it's, I feel like they're like, it's not fair. I shouldn't have to suffer. Even though I am, and even though something's over here, not giving up. Okay. I'm going to make things right in my life. And whether that's with you and with this with some kind of breakup and it's done, you ended something. I'm seeing a fight coming in. And for those of you who are, just going to slam the door on that person's face you've got somebody new coming in here same energy that they went through some kind of breakup so you might have you and meeting somebody else who are both just out of relationships um, and are just not giving up on love maybe taking it slow maybe trying to do it the right way instead of jumping in and this two of pentacles here okay that's what i was saying the Ace of Swords reverse. So this is kind of like making sure, weighing things out before making any kind of judgment. Um, so it feels to me like this person coming in, um, it's almost like their thought process is like in the past, they didn't make good judgment calls. They um, didn't take their time. They had a lot of mental blocks. They didn't take their time 
to see if somebody was honest or truthful um, or if there was another or whoever they would meet in the past didn't have their own mental blocks you know I feel like this person coming in I keep okay never mind this person coming in I feel like now it's doing it differently this time it's doing it the right way and in their mind the right way is to take their time and not rush into anything but their mindset is they're very assertive about doing it the right way okay very assertive um, about making a lifestyle change here because it I feel like this person has learned some pretty heavy-duty lessons pretty heavy-duty lessons okay the fool <laughs> taking a huge risk yeah willing to take a risk okay this is somebody here who's like you know what I'll do whatever I need to do I'm the the fool has no fear in the in the reverse the fool is cautious okay the, in the reverse the fool is like the spontaneous person who plans everything out first <laughs> the fool in the upright is spontaneous I have no fear this person is coming in with no fear okay at all ready to go Aquarian energy there for some of you and so listen when I'm calling out these signs this could be somebody new and I'm just calling out planetary placements in their sign all right um, doesn't have to it but it could be for each of you a sun sign so it really just depends so for some of you who were in that twin flame connection um, that didn't get off the ground there was a break something ended okay somebody took the bull by the horns and said that's it not moving forward it's not going anywhere block block delete delete i'm out and that is having a very profound effect on a person okay could be both of you but it's definitely the other person having a very profound effect and that might just very well be something that needed to be done some of you just needed to be finished and some of you before this reading have already done that okay and there seems to be this healing process and also there seems to be somebody who even though it was hurtful there's some type of recognition of the changes that needed to be made in order to make something work and then this person coming back in to make it right and for others of you this is the same energy that somebody's going through and you haven't met this person they're not going back to their ex but you meet and they they feel like they get another chance at love and they want to do it right this time which is great you know listen I heard somebody say the other day a lot of women say well you ever hear the saying well if he loves me he'll change that's true um, and the and the truth is also if this person doesn't love you they won't change because generally men generally and I'm speaking to the ladies here don't really change for themselves if they're comfortable why would they it's just not you know it's just general not all men so don't get offensive to the guys who are listening here um, but on it as a general rule men if they're comfortable in their life and there's a woman in their life that isn't someone that they see as their future they're not going to change for that woman but if it's someone that they love that they're like oh my and listen don't argue with me about this because I know I know there are men that come into your life you're not it for them and know they're not going to change you'll only recognize if this is your person because they will change you probably never would be here listening to this reading and if you are it's because you need to let go of that past person because they just did not love you enough to see you as their person and it's not personal you know it's never personal it doesn't mean you weren't good enough it just means that you weren't the one for them 
And will they change for somebody else if they fall in love with another person? If they fall in love with somebody, yeah. Um, if it's a narcissist, then no. They're just, it's just going to be the same cycle that just keeps repeating, you know? And I don't know that I'm only speaking to, um, to women. I feel like for you guys... Women, women, if she really loves you, so maybe it's just all around. I feel like women, women will have a tendency to make more changes for men, even if they know the man isn't in love with them because they want so much to have. If they're in love with them, they want so much for that to happen. But eh, I feel like it's mostly men don't really make these grave life altering changes for women that they're really not in love with. They're just like, oh, it's too much. No, I'm not really even in love with this person. I'm just going to let go and just be done with it. And that's, ladies, when that happens to you, you can't you can't change the, that person's spots. You can't change them. You just got to let them go. You just got to say, Ariva it was an, It was nice. Enjoyed it. It was nice getting to know you. Probably stayed too long, but now I'm moving on and I'm going to find somebody who's better for me. And that's that's... It's fair game. It's all, you know. Fair game. All right, let's take a look here. I should have brought my drink. I am so thirsty. All right, let's see. What are your moon pie messages? Okay. So we have learning a new skill. So some of you are definitely <laughs> learning some new stuff here in your lives. And a material gift here. Okay, some of you are taking some classes or you're brushing up on your skills at work, school, um, so that you can receive more pay. Um, you're learning new skills to be entrepreneur or self-employed so you can receive more pay. Um, some of you are learning to drive because you are thinking about buying a car. Okay. Um, or some of you are learning to drive manual versus automatic or vice versa. Some of you are thinking about you're, maybe you're going to buy a new car and you're going to get like not automatic manual. Okay. Or you're going to have to learn how to drive a particular way. Um, some of you are learning, you're getting a CDL, right? Um, I'm hearing upping your income though. I'm hearing upping your income. Some of you are, are creating or building something here. Um, learning about traveling. Maybe you're you're gonna you're thinking about traveling. Receiving some money or you're receiving some sponsorship or some money to do some kind of walk or a hike or travel or something. Um, or to create some kind of a fundraiser. So there's also regret here. Okay, what's this about? I hate that word. Remorse I can live with. Regret? No. Why is there regret here? Oh, okay. Some of you are, you have regret for um, some one night stands, perhaps. These, this could be something that happened th 20, 30 years ago. I don't know. Something that needs to be worked through. Um, or regret for being physically intimate with someone who wasn't good for you or letting someone be physically intimate with you who wasn't good for you. There might be some regret that you're still working through. Do your best. Don't have any regrets in life. Everything is a lesson. Okay. <clears throat> There's some regret about, I feel, um, for some of you, it could be regret being with someone much younger than you maybe or something along those lines or just having there's also <laughs> there might be remorse but maybe a feeling of like oh I drank too much and then I was with that person and I shouldn't have been or I did something that I shouldn't have done so working through that is really important as part of your healing right but I am picking up there's also someone who is very lusty and fiery for you and they regret not making a move um, and also regret that they did make the move, but then didn't, that I just heard just left you out in the dark or just never came back or didn't ever try to make anything happen with you. Okay. So we have the Hierophant here. Um, so 
So there, some of you are questioning your spiritual beliefs, what you will and won't conform to, what your path is at this point moving forward. Um, looking at the path you're on and asking, is this path leading to where I want to go? A lot of you are checking yourselves at this time, which is good. Self-awareness is good. Okay, highly, highly logical male. So we have air energy here. Um, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, a male. A good friend of yours will be very significant okay in the month of march go the, the end of february going into march all of march so this person is a very good friend and i feel like this person is quite logical it's very intellectual this person is very good with reasoning things um i don't know if this person's in your life for any other reason but just to be like your sidekick Okay, um, maybe they always have been, but they're showing up very strongly in this time period. Huh, could be a boss that you have a good friends with. This person can have a tendency to be a little bit bossy. Um, they might be somewhere on the cusp of, hold on. All right, I'm hearing... Gemini Cancer, um, they might have a little bit of fire in their sign somewhere, okay, um, but it's either a boss or a good friend or both, okay, going to be very prominent in your life in this time period, oh, okay, um, so this person, Virgo, is gonna try to, they're gonna like try to get you out of your negative thinking <laughs> that's the purpose in their life so it feels like a friend mostly or someone who's could be very bossy in a lot of ways too but they're gonna tell you yo dude do that <laughs> enough with this stinking thinking all right get your shit together already stop it you have your whole life left to live be happy so if you're going through anything or whatever this person just comes across as like a very positive influence in your life okay so take hold of that person when they show up or if they're there in your life right now all right and then you've got a financial decision that you need to make which will bring you recognition okay um or applause like you'll be victorious um, once you make this decision, it's not a decision between two different things. I feel like it's a decision about whether you should or you shouldn't. And I feel like I can't tell you that if you do, you'll have victory. And I can't tell you that if you don't, you'll have victory. Okay. I just know that whatever this decision is, go with the one that's going to gain you the applause, the recognition, and the win. And you'll have to figure out what that is by putting in the effort to try to understand really what that is okay um but whatever you decide to do this financial decision um the effort that you put in you'll reap huge rewards from that okay huge rewards all right let me just get a couple extra cards here i'm going to see what else is coming in What else does Virgo need to know? What else does Virgo need to know here? Hi, everybody in the chat. I hope you're doing well. All right. So they gave us a whole bunch. Okay. So you have waiting. Okay. So there's a waiting energy here with somebody. Somebody's waiting for something. Widower, love, frivolity, and misfortune. All right. We're going to pull this card here. Okay. All right. So somebody here is like really ill, is lovesick. That's it. That's the word. That's the word. Somebody here is tremendously, terribly lovesick. I'm not sure who it is. All I can tell you is somebody 
has either been hit by Cupid's arrows and they're sick as a dog because of it, or maybe something ended, there was a breakup, there's separation, I don't know what it is, but somebody is in bed, like, not, like, it could even be depression, it's like they're, uh, they're physically ill from love, love sick, okay. Now somebody's, you know, feels like a widower at this time, their person, or actually is a widower, okay, their person has passed on, and um, so there's a waiting energy. Uh, somebody has someone close to them that they know is terminal, and it's just a waiting game at this time before that person, you know, moves into the next life. So there's a waiting energy for that. Like everything has been done that could be done. Nothing else can be done. And this is not a prediction. This is for those of you who are like, yes, it's my grandpa or it's my, you know, whatever, whoever it is. Um, and for others, this is just like someone has already passed. Somebody is already a widower and they're just waiting for love to come into their life. Okay. These feel like more um, just like qualifiers than anything. All right, now here's a strong message. Um, be very careful with frivolous behavior, okay? I don't know who that's for. You know how a butterfly is very frivolous, just here, there, and everywhere? Butterflies are just everywhere. They land where they land. They float and, you know, flip-flop their wings everywhere. They're very frivolous, very frivolous activity. Because um, there's a possibility for misfortune. So this really is just a message for you to be mindful. Check and recheck. Lights, um, the gas stove, things like that. Make sure everything, like the batteries are in the um, smoke detectors, you know, that kind of stuff. Just be mindful. Because you might be going through a period. Maybe you're going through something. And, or maybe you have some days where you're, you're absent-minded. Um, you know, if, if you feel like you're absent-minded, write yourself notes and lists and leave them around the house or on your desk or at work, you know, to remind you, right? Or plug it into your phone if you have an assistant or a reminder, or notes or calendar notes or something. Um, if you're, especially if you're going through, like you have moments where you can't think straight or you're forgetful, you know, um, do these little things for yourself, you know, make sure... You have your, you know, if you keep forgetting to hang your keys up when you walk in the door, um, find a secondary spot for them. So, but just as long as you know there's spots, so they won't be laying in strange places, you know. Um, things like that. Like, create yourself like a personal assistant, <laughs> you know. Someone to help you through your day, right? Because you might have a lot on your plate or you might be a busybody or you might be overwhelmed or stressed with work or relationships or what have you or your children or family or whatever um, do yourself a favor create a personal assistant or hire one you can you can hire some like you can hire a young college student or, or a son or a daughter or someone to help you out pay them to help you out with things you know, even if you're in school, you just have, you know, you could be, you know, young as anything. And you could just be, have a lot on your plate. Ask for some help. That's really what the message is there. All right, let's take a look and see what your messages are here. My voice is a little bit shaky. And I think it's because I haven't spoken in three days. <laughs> like this kind of speaking here, you know, talking for an hour straight is vocal work <laughs> it's it is and when you take a when i take a i i don't know everybody else but when i take a couple of days off from speaking like this consistently for an hour straight it's like when i come back to talk my voice is like a little shaky like i'm using my muscles again for the first time i probably shouldn't take that long off but i really needed to um but um yeah, so don't mistake it for me being nervous or sad or, you know, anything like that. My voice does not reflect my emotions. It just reflects my lack of vocal strength at this time. <laughs> All right, let's see. These cards are like, nope, we're not doing it today. We're not doing it today.
All right. Yes, we are, because I said so. Oh. <laughs> All right, somebody here, who is it? I don't even know. Somebody's got a 3G phone network, I'm guessing. Not, I'm not guessing. I mean, I'm guessing that somebody either listening currently in the live or um, maybe later, there's a 3G phone num network and maybe you need to upgrade from 3G. I don't know, is 3G even still around? <laughs> okay, somebody lives in apartment 8G. I just heard that also. Somebody's 38. Okay. Why am I yawning? I don't even know. Hmm. Oh, somebody's got like, I just felt a strange. That's weird. Um, your breast plate. Your breast plate is sore. Somebody's got a, I mean, they got punched breastplate a little sore or when you cough <coughs> your chest right below right behind your breastplate is maybe you've been coughing maybe you've been ill okay there's a little bit of are there some congestion okay somebody's name is Grizz G-R-I-Z Grizz somebody was born in 1984 Okay. Oh, um, we've got, okay. I just saw somebody here has tulips and hosta plant coming up out of the ground right now. They just noticed it. They just noticed these perennials coming back. Starting to bloom. Well, not bloom, but just come up out of the ground. Starting to rise for some. And for others, they're dying. All right, let me see. Oh, somebody was born in the year 64. Okay, initials G. The initial S is in Sam. We have an initial V. We also have an N. N as in no. N. Nada. All right. Area code three eight four. Oh, somebody's receiving their um, medical license. Maybe it's for marijuana to sell. Or um, somebody's like graduating and um, becoming a doctor. Um, let's see. Congratulations if that's the case. Okay. Somebody is 49. All right. Let's see. I am getting the letter G so heavily. It's crazy. Somebody wears Uggs. They're just saying Uggs. Oh. Somebody's connecting here with a Scorpio with like white or blonde hair. It's either or and. Um, I'm also seeing um, like a unicorn. Maybe somebody called somebody a unicorn. So you're my unicorn. Do people even say that? I'm not sure. And I'm also picking up um, somebody by a lake where there's geese. Looking at the geese or the swans. 
or you can see them. All right, now I'm getting Leo energy. And somebody's like really aching, body aches, headache. You need to go take something or get a massage or do something for your body aches or your headache. Or there, maybe there's migraines or something. Or maybe there's a Leo who's a pain in your ass. Let's see. Hmm. Oh gosh, that is so weird. Now I don't. Maybe I'm channeling her. Is she still alive? Oh gosh. I'm all right. I don't know if this woman's still alive or not. But I'm. I'm just. I just saw a face of Yoko Ono. So maybe there's a connection to Japan, or John Lennon, or Yoko Ono, or. Um, that's the kind of art that she did Im impressionist art or something I forget what it was called there's something connected to Yoko Ono maybe he just simply saw her somewhere or saw a picture or something in regards to her it's weird last one okay all right so they're giving me the numbers Tell me, all right so they're giving me uh, three, four, six, eight, and nine. Three, four, six, eight, and nine. Three, four, six, eight, nine. Um, and I'm also getting the 13th, the 19th, the third, I said three. Um, 10th, I'm picking up the, yeah, I said nine, the ninth, the 12th, and I'm also getting 23rd, 29th, 29th a lot. And the 23rd a lot okay but that's it that was strange that was really strange I don't know why those numbers are coming up twice the 20th or it could be the 23rd through the 29th is very important days for somebody um, and also the 30th now they're just saying the 30th all right let me see or somewhere around there Sorry, it's so loud. Oh, we have an elephant. How cute. Okay, we have Paris again. So we have an elephant and we have Paris. Or, well, we have the Eiffel Tower. Um, and then you have all of these are all... It's all metal, silver. Silver might be somebody's, um, maybe you wear silver all the time. No gold, a lot of silver. I'm also seeing like here a roulette table they're giving me, a roulette table. Someone's playing at the roulette table or slots or doing something along those lines. What the hell is that? Oh, that damn blingy kitty is back. <laughs> what is with this kitty? The blingy kitty always showing up always somebody's got a cat named flower here's the unicorn here you go all right so with the elephant i'm picking up like a okay somebody might be from south africa or somewhere near there although i'm not so sure if elephants are in south africa are they near there? I don't really know. Um, but this feels like a baby. Or maybe there's somewhere there's a baby elephant that's just been born or is being born that you hear about or you know about. Um, there's also here about having someone here listening has a very strong memory, a very, very good memory, very 
you know it's exceptional it's an exceptional memory and i don't know who that is it's not like oh yeah i'm real good at remembering th this is like exceptional this is like super genius memory like this is Meryl, uh, mary lou henner genius memory like can remember every single day from the day of birth okay i know like listen i'm not claiming it <laughs> it's not me <laughs> um maybe you're going to paris or you're going to see the Eiffel Tower? Have you recently been or planning a trip? Are you thinking about are you, someone you're connecting with is from France? Um, or someone you're thinking about is from France? Or vice versa? Okay. Um, maybe you're there already. This cat reminds me of the cat from Pepe Le Pew. The cartoon. That's, I don't know if you guys remember that. But I know some of you will. But Pepe Le Pew. And that cat that just kept trying to slither away from him because he was just so amore. He was so, he was so like, oh, he was very clingy and he was such a lover, but he was very clingy, you know, Pepe Le Pew, but he also stank. I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah, and that's it, you guys. I hope that resonated for you. Um, I'm going to leave your messages there. That was a lot of fun. Very interesting. I'm definitely going to put a lovely caption on this because I think the reading was good. And I hopefully, hopefully you guys, I do pray for you. And I do hope that you meet the love of your lives, but that you attract love. And then when you attract someone that you both create a love together, that's very beautiful and very strong and just so supportive i just pray for you guys that you have that so much and yeah that's really it i need to go get a drink because my i'm like my mouth is so dry and i i'm an idiot i forgot to put water on my desk all right you guys so i will be back hopefully tomorrow with your messages do make sure you go over to the oval over soul i almost said oval team the over soul forum the address is oversoul.space. There's a link under the video. Join the community. Help us build the community. Um, and if you're a member of my channel, you can um, register over there for free. And I will add you to the House of Virgo private club. Exclusive private club for House of Virgo members only. Okay? But you have to be a member of my channel to join that club. So definitely go check that out. And... Yep, that's going to be it. I will see you all very soon. Have a lovely evening, a lovely day, and I'll catch up with you soon. All right, take care. Bye.